Let me tell you a story. I stayed up late one night browsing through a list of Japanese Game Boy games for sale to see if there were any hidden gems I wanted to buy. One of the games for sale was called Oyera Jajamaru, so I loaded up on my phone to check it out. So it starts off with the most cliche plots in 90s video game history. Your girlfriend is captured and you need to rescue her. Well, okay. But then, whoa, the screen does this crazy warping effect. And I'm this little ninja guy and I can jump, but also fly, sorta. So I walk to the right and start launching ninja stars into unicorns, which then explode into little ghosts. So I go over and eat their souls. And then the screen starts flashing and I have no idea what just happened. Now I can walk upside down on the ceiling, but only sometimes. Then this guy appears with one beefy arm and starts trying to stab me. So I start to shoot him. But then holy crap, his head pops off and starts flying around. Now I'm in the ocean and there are sharks. So I start throwing harpoons at them and they just gruesomely stick out of the sharks as they swim around. And now I'm in the desert chasing down Dracula. But I accidentally fall into a pit. Okay, so what? It plays some cute music and I lose an extra life or something? No. I literally go to hell. And it's game over. No extra lives, no continues. This all happened at like 1 in the morning, and honestly, it all felt like some crazy fever dream. But what's also crazy is, it was really, really fun. Why haven't I heard of this game before? So I look it up on the Wikipedia and come to find out it actually had an American release and it was renamed to Maru's Mission. This is Maru's Mission? I've known about this game forever, but I never tried it because the box art looks so stupid. All right, so now that I got my first impressions out of the way, this is a cute little ninja action game from 1990. You travel around the world, going to Japan, Romania, Greece, Egypt, Brazil, and America, trying to rescue your kidnapped girlfriend. Which makes the full title of the game, I'm Jajamaru, World Adventure, make a lot more sense. So what else is funny about this game? Jajamaru is always doing this cute little dance. <laughs> Uh, enemies randomly spawn in and out of another dimension. All of the bosses explode, but then they become your friend and give you special items. Sometimes trees are upside down. When you hit a chimera, it explodes into a lion, a goat, and a snake. Also there is Frankenstein's monster. All of the boss enemies have this little cutscene where they walk on top of you. This guy has huge pectoral muscles. Medusa launches teeny tiny snakes at you. Jajamaru has this pet frog but you only see him in cutscenes. This starts happening. This level has two suns in it. This boss doesn't actually fight you. He just tests your intelligence with a riddle. There's dragons. There's the cutest little Hydra. Cerberus is also really cute. He's just a puppy. And lastly, Satan lives in America. Literally. This game is so random. It's so glitchy. It's short. Despite it being unforgiving in regards to extra tries, it's really not that difficult to beat. But I love this game. It gets so much right. The action moves at just the right pace. The game follows a formula and yet every stage gives you something new to experience. It has just enough story to tie things together but not get in the way. The music is cute. The graphics are cute. And my personal favorite, you can launch as many ninja stars as you can press the attack button. You know how when you play Space Invaders or Zelda, and, uh, you just want to pew pew pew, but the game only lets you shoot one shot at a time? No, not Jajamaru. This guy is a ninja star throwing beast, and it feels so good to tear through enemies with that. Yeah, you demand Jajamaru.